What's up, Technobe here for Troubleshoot and in today's video we're going to be covering the new CSGO update that came out a couple of days ago and completely broke the way that you capture it using OBS Studio as well as any other streaming or recording software. So what exactly happened? Well, Valve simply released an update for Counter-Strike Global Offensive that was basically aimed to stop cheaters. But of course, the only thing that blocking all external software touching the program did was affect those who aren't cheating and are content creators, and the cheaters are still able to cheat basically with nothing different. The only people that it affects is the good people. Throw out a net to catch the bad fish, and you'll catch the good fish as well. Unfortunately, the cheaters are having a much better experience than us normal content creators. And of course, if you're recording Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you're probably using a game capture to do it. Though of course, while you're doing it, you may notice that your screen is just completely black. Now, of course, I won't be able to show you exactly what that looks like, simply because I'm recording it over here. But if I want to go ahead and tab into Counter-Strike Global Offensive using game capture, all you'll see is this, even though I've now successfully tabbed into my game. Basically, there's a couple of things that you can attempt. Number one, simply add a display capture and set it to capture the monitor that you're playing the game on. After doing that, simply enable it and then try and tab into your full screen game. After a while of being black, it may eventually pop in and you'll have your Counter-Strike Global Offensive window here. If I head into the settings, video and video section, you'll see I'm currently playing in display mode full screen. Now, of course, while the actual game capture isn't working, display capture is capturing this full screen game, even though it is in full screen. Now, for most people, you'll have to click this drop down and set it to either full screen windowed and hit apply, then use the display capture. As you can see, I can drag a window above it, or you'll have to use the windowed option over here. Clicking apply changes, you can now see there's a border at the top. Though for most people, you'll use either full screen or full screen windowed. So changing it back to full screen windowed, there's a couple of options from here. Number one, we use display capture and the game in full screen. This should give you the most FPS possible. Then we can try display capture and full screen windowed or windowed mode. Though those last two options may give you some FPS lag or input lag in game, while using display capture and full screen should give you a little bit less, but it still won't be anywhere near as good as capturing the game directly. Then for the third option, we can instead of using a game capture or display capture, we can add a new capture and add a window capture. Then we can simply select Counter-Strike Global Offensive, OK and add it to the top. This way, any programs we have over it, like OBS, will simply vanish when I enable the window capture, and of course you can move the actual game around as you would normally by using game capture. In order to get window capture to work, more than likely you'll need to be in full screen windowed or windowed mode. So of course, the first thing that you should attempt, full screen and display capture, or simply change it to full screen windowed, and then either use display capture or window capture as seen previously. So when exactly will Valve be fixing this issue? Well, in their eyes, it's not really an issue. They set out to prevent cheaters from cheating. They didn't accomplish that. So they'll either reverse it or they'll leave it as is. And as content creators, we'll have to find a way around it. Of course, if you've been using a capture card to record your single or dual PC setup, then you're basically unaffected by this. But for the rest of us content creators, we have to struggle with this. Now, of course, if you're recording a montage, a replay, or something along those lines, and you'd like the extra FPS or extra performance, well, there's a couple of things that apply to you. There are two new launch options. Number one is hyphen untrusted, and the second one is hyphen insecure. Hyphen untrusted allows you to go ahead and record your game with game capture, though your trust score may be negatively affected. This is something that you can do if you absolutely need to record the game with game capture, but if you're going to play competitively, then this is going to be an issue for you. You'll play with a lot more cheaters. And if you'd simply like to record the game using something that isn't OBS, Bandicam, XSplit, etc, etc, that isn't digitally signed, then you can launch it with the hyphen insecure option, which won't allow you to join VAC secure servers. Now, of course, if you're just going to be surfing or be hopping, then trust score isn't really an issue and you can launch the game up with hyphen untrusted. This will probably be the solution for you. And if you're not going to be playing online at all, then you can easily use hyphen insecure and record your game as is. How exactly do you add hyphen untrusted and or hyphen insecure to your game launch options? Well, simply head across to Steam, locate CSGO, right click, properties, and then head across to the general tab and find set launch options. 
clicking that, I already have a bunch of launch options over here. At the very end of it, I'll simply add a space and I can add hyphen insecure or hyphen untrusted. This way, after hitting OK, the next time I launch up the game, it'll either launch up in untrusted or insecure mode. If you'd like to see more about these patch notes, simply just Google for it or check the description down below for a link to blog counterstrike.net index.php category updates, where you can find the patch notes for this update on the 8th of the 7th, 2020. But anyways, my name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video somewhat useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Thank you.